John B, two games left. If you can pick the victory up on, on Sunday, survival is yours. But we're going to have a quick look back at, at Sunday and Batley. Yet again, when we spoke post-game, you were really frustrated just at times. As you've always mentioned, it taught, sort of skill errors. Your side had an opportunity going down the hill in the second half. They just weren't able to take advantage. Yeah, even at like 12 nil at half time, and they scored right on the right on the death. I think last year we were either 14 or 16 nil down going up the hill at half time, and we were we, we were disappointed with the draw. And I thought I thought how we'd been at the weekend on in the first half, we'd done all right. We went set for set. We made one header, like uh, they went down and, and scored the next set. But we we, we do we done some good stuff in our first half. We got the kicks well and, and we chest well, and just a, a bit of a ricochet and a, a bit of a. They got the ball before it was a bit urgency off them regarding the, the kick chase off that last tackle. And it was 12 0, but even then we said half time, I was happy with where we were at and how we'd been. And if we'd if replicated that in the second half, I think we'd have been all right. Uh, but there was just a period again, we didn't see the ball for eight minutes. We, we, we prior to that, we didn't complete four of our yarded sets, which is criminal. Four on the belt, by the way, four, four on the trot. And then we didn't see the ball for eight minutes. And during that eight minutes, they got the two tries. We got the ball back and it was 24 0. So it's, you could see that the sink, maybe was it 55, 60 minutes gone at 24 nil. I'm thinking we need some points. I don't think we'll get enough points to win the game, but we need some points. And fair play to the lads. We got a couple of tries and 12 points because it was, it, we could have been in a different place if we hadn't scored them 12 points. And that's how close it is down the bottom. So disappointed how we were in the second half, mate. I really was. But there's glimpses there that there's been there all year that if we put that one performance together, uh, we'll, we'll win a game. And, that's got to be this week, isn't it? It was really good to see Callum Phillips and, and Carl Dixon out there. We spoke about it a little bit on, on Sunday. Callum, give, us, give yourself around about 30 mm. minutes. Carl Dixon played the full 80. Both of them at times looked like you couldn't even tell they'd been out, especially Callum had been out nearly 500 days. So yeah. it's big, big raps to them sort of fellas, you know, for coming in after such a, a long way off and, you know, essentially putting put in the performance they did. Yeah, especially if, I thought Dicko was on full of first half on the short side down the left there. He was off load and he was getting getting the better of his opposition and there was a bit of second phase come off for, come off Dicko and he's a strong carrier and we'd cut his outside and they were a threat. Yeah, and Callum was just Cal I was pleased with how Cal went to be fair. He, he was gas mind, he was and I've never seen Callum like that before, but he had like he says play for fifteen months or whatever. But I, I really do think he added to us. His 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 effort in D was good. I did he get something like twenty four titles in thirty minutes. So that's that's a typical Callum effort that and like I say it's testament to Cal, it was good to have him back. Good in the change rooms, a pair of them. It was good to hear my captain and my vice captain, along with Jamie Dodd and other other uh, senior players, like contributing to pre-match and half-time talks. And that's what I said that I'd even if they had nothing else regarding how they played, Callum and Dicko were always going to add the, the, their experience to, to how, how we go about attacking a game. Looking forward now to, to to Sunday. I don't think it's a too big of a tagline to put on it, but it's a cup final. Um, if, if you, as you mentioned earlier, if you, if you can pick up the two points, survival is yours. If you don't pick up the two points, depending on the result and the points difference, you could find yourself going into that final weekend in the bottom in the bottom two in that in that thirteenth place. So, it really, is a cup final. It seems to be there's going to be quite a few making the trip down. There's at least two, even three supporters bus is going to make the journey. So it, it, it shows how much of a, a big game it is going in on into Sweden on Sunday. Yeah, I noticed there was at the crowd. I stood. The back of the sticks at the top of the hill at the weekend and I thought our crowd was brilliant again, our fans I should say were brilliant again as they always are, the, the vocal and they get behind the lads, whatever, and they were there till the end and I hope we've got that, like you said, there's a few buses going down, so that would be great for the lads to, to hear that support, but yeah, of course it's a good final, we've had two or three sort of semi-cups where we've got away, it's been, it hasn't been sudden death, but this to me is it's sudden death footy and, and we've got to get a win and we've talked about that, but again we've had another good week this week and that means nothing come three o'clock on a Sunday if we don't perform that, that one performance we need and the, the games we've won, the double over Sheffield and York, the witness game, battered away, great victories, but they mean nothing if we don't get that win on, on Sunday, Jordan. And it's from now till three o'clock on Sunday till five o'clock on Sunday, we've got to do everything in our power to, as players and coaches to prepare right and, and just mentally prepared for, visualise it and and just do the right thing till, till Sunday. Because bear in mind, if they don't win, if we do get a win on the weekend, I would imagine that could put a nail into it in coffin at the weekend. Uh, I'm not sure if it is enough, but they're going to be 100% up for this game. I know Alan, and at times they've 
they put some good performances together themselves to, uh, together themselves, haven't they? Toulouse at home, for instance, they, they beat them. They were three week, four week ago, they win half time at Toulouse. So these guys are no pushover and they're fighting for their lives and it's it's it, it, whoever makes least there is whoever wants the game most will probably come out on top on, on Sunday. Have you seen any sort of change in training with, with sort of the mentality or maybe just maybe that like so maybe even a percent extra or two with with what's riding at stake then I'll know it, it essentially is a is a cup final. We have talked about that for the last two or three weeks and I have seen uh, the more onus on the lads when when we some someone goes wrong at training, it isn't me or Kirky or Simon getting at them or Velks. It, it's it's the lads themselves and that's what I want it like. I want to play a player led sessions and, and and raising the standards and it has been a bit like that. Tonight was again didn't really do much myself tonight. Kirky took a lot of the session and the, the lads put themselves in a position where if something was going wrong they sorted out, they talked about it and put it right. So and that's what we need when they when they because they know then they're doing the wrong thing and how to put it right and that's what needs to happen on a Sunday because once the clock comes on a Sunday there's not another thing the coach and staff can do. So yeah, it, it's been good. The intensity was there and it all gears up for Sunday. Certainly does. Um, Lasalusa Tabu obviously missed out last week. He's been training again this week. Do you expect to have him available on Sunday? Everybody apart from obviously like your Kingy, your Bish, uh, Marcus has actually trained with us tonight, Marcus O'Brien, but Marcus isn't quite ready for uh, it. Is what it is with Marcus. I'm good for the lad. I would like him to finish off with a couple of games, but I've had a conversation with him there and he's not right. And that, that he's been honest there. He could have easily said he is. Uh, but fair play to Marcus for being honest with us. So. Everybody else is fit, and I wouldn't say like everybody's got knocks this time. Yeah, no hundred percent fit, but everybody's put their hand up to play. So yeah, it's a headache to pick a team. You mentioned the headache. It's it's not a, uh, a decision you've had to make all that often. Haven't had too many headaches, just purely down down injuries throughout the season. It's sort of been the uh, sort of been the thing of your tenure that you've sort of had injuries wherever yeah. you know whatever part of the season. Yeah, that, that's that, that's right. And and sometimes the team, well, a lot of the times the team's picking itself at sixteen or seventeen. Where these lads playing that position, no, I have only had 16, 17, 18 to pick from for the majority of the season. So it is good I've got Callum back, it is good I've got Dico back, and there's, there's lads who's fit who'll miss out, which I've had a, a conversation with a few of them tonight who's going to miss out, and uh, they're not easy conversations, but I'm in a good place as a coach when that's happening. So that, I wish it had been like that all year, to be fair. And a, and a final word, what's your final words and final thoughts going into Sunday, not just, you know, as, as, a, as a club, maybe towards the fans? Uh, it's, it's our, our championship survival depends on these next two games and more so on, on this Sunday and I can't express how important it is for us as a club and, and as fans going down there that we put a performance on in the field that the fans can get behind and cheer on like they normally do. Like I said, last week they were cheering until the end but I want us to put a, a performance in and, and right for 80 minutes this time and that's all I'm asking of the lads. What we've done so far this season, Jordan, that's forgotten about and, and, and it's all, all injuries on Sunday. So I just hope the lads turn up and give the supporters the, the, the performance that they are due as supports for every home and away game doing what we want, uh, following us all over the country, mate.